Yes, now Mort has uh, carried the banner for uh, Zionism in America for oh, almost almost 30 years, I guess, at this point. Um, and here's the, and he's very close with the president, so I want to ask him some tough questions. So, do you think that the president of the United States will indeed move the embassy to Jerusalem, and do you think he will permit construction in Judea and Samaria at a level that very few presidents have? First of all, I am convinced that uh, President Trump will move the embassy during this term. Uh, uh, he wanted to move it the day after the, the uh, inauguration. I know this because his people told me this and even asked me to submit names to him of who should be at the, at the ceremony. So uh, I think this was a mistake not moving it now. This only sends a message that terroristic threats uh, pay, that terrorism pays. This will only bring more terrorist threats. Uh, so, but I do believe he'll move it. <laughs> <laughs> about Israel building. Israel is an independent country. They should not ask Obama or Trump or anyone. They should just build because this is Yehuda and Shamron. We are Jews because we're from Judea. It, this was never sovereign Arab land. We have the total rights to it, legal, political, religious. <laughs> and the Arabs are from Arabia. We're from Judea. That's why we're called Jews. So uh, I, I, I'm afraid that this administration in Israel is very nervous about building. They were worried about Europe and the media and America. And uh, I'm disappointed. They should be building as strongly as possible right now all over Judea and Samaria. Because we, right now the Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria comprise less than 2% of all of the West Bank, Judea and Samaria. And uh, I hope uh, that they will come to their senses and do what's right. Thank you, Mort. Thank you. I hope so, too.